Power 95.7. Jean Barton. I'm here today with Diane Laura from America's Pie Company. Diane, today we, today's show is called Sweets for the Sweet. And what are we going to be doing today? Who doesn't like chocolate? Everybody, I don't know loves anybody chocolate. Who likes it. But if they don't like chocolate, I'd like to know them, so I'll eat all the chocolate <laughs> for them. <laughs> so we're going to be working with chocolate today. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is make some toffee. We're going to make some homemade truffles. Ooh, we're going to make some chocolate covered cherries. We're going to mm. show you all the different toppings and uh, there's a little bit of technical issues with this because you're working with chocolate and timing and things, but we'll go over that. Okay, good. Yeah. So what are we going to start off with? The first thing we're going to make is toffee, and um, it's a favorite here at our shop. They really like the toffee. I love toffee so much, mm -hmm. and it loves me. <laughs> so we're going to start out by making our toffee. Okay, great. Can't wait. All right, let me get out of your way. Okay, so you want to take your basic saucepan. Make sure it's a real heavy saucepan. Anything light, you may scorch it, and you don't want to scorch your mix for toffee. It has to cook somewhat slowly. Okay. So we're going to be taking uh, one and a quarter cups of granulated sugar. All right, very good. We've got a beautiful bowl of sugar here, just uh, plain ready. granulated. At least sugar is the one thing that uh, it, people really don't dip in and just say, oh, I'm going to have a teaspoon of sugar, right? Do you do that? No. No, I mean, that's one, one ingredient people don't really dip in. We use it for cooking here. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to take, in addition to our two and a quarter cup sugar, we're going to take one cup, which is two sticks of unsalted butter. Okay, why unsalted? I use unsalted butter for everything because the salt in your butter will not compete with your recipe. Okay. Because typically um, your good recipes will have an additional salt content added. All right, so when you buy butter, just pick the unsalted. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Okay, in addition to that, we want to add one tablespoon of uh, the white corn syrup. And that, is that... Uh, K rose syrup, basically? Uh -huh. You can use any kind of light, not the oh, dark. Oh, okay, okay. And then in addition to that, we want a quarter cup of water. Quarter cup of water, okay. And there you go. Now we're going to move this over to our burner. Okay. And you want to put your burner on a medium. Here. Okay, so we've got the the uh, ingredients on the burner, right? Right. Okay, good. Okay, so we're going to be putting this um, on the stove at a medium low heat. Okay. Until the sugar and the butter is completely dissolved. You want everything dissolved so it makes a beautiful paste. Now, typically, I use a candy thermometer, and I have the fan. Uh, candy thermometer in there, but our candy thermometer for some reason wouldn't move. So I, I've made it enough, I know, but typically if you're making this at home, you want to bring your temperature of your mix up to 300 degrees. So we're going to let that cook for quite some time. Okay, so we're not using the candy thermometer then right now, right? Right. You want to okay. cook it until it gets a nice rich amber color and then I'll show you how to dump it. Okay, and how long do you think that will be? It's going to be about 12, 15 minutes. Okay. All right, very so good. while our mix for that is cooking, we're going to start um, a load of truffles. And truffles, there's all different kinds of truffles you can make. Um, our truffles are going to be chocolate. So to make truffles, these are called chocolate ganache truffles. So you want to take pure whipping cream and you're going to take a quarter cup of whipping cream. I'm making a small batch, by the way. And also, Diane, I noticed, are you using a half cup and then just judging a quarter cup? I am. Okay. All right, that's just your experience coming yeah. in, guys. <laughs> so you're going to bring your cream up uh, to a boil. Then you're going to drop your, um, and, and what I'm using here is a semi-sweet chocolate chip. 
And you want a good chocolate chip. Anytime you're working with chocolate, make sure it has a high cocoa content. So to use a good one. So you mean your chocolate chips, how do you figure out if there's a high cocoa content? It's clearly written on the back. Oh, okay. It'll say what the content is. Okay. All right. Very good. I never even, I just grab chocolate chips and that's it. <laughs> They're all different. So what we have cooking over there is a quarter cup of heavy cream. And what, we want to add six ounces, which I'll use my scale here. Uh, if you're using it at home, you'll probably want to do about a third cup of these. So I'm going to use this measure around. I use my scale a lot. Oh, it's a digital scale. It looks nice and convenient. Yep. So six ounces is what we want to Six for? ounces. Oh, I think the cream is boiling. Oh, good. Okay, our cream is boiling. So what we want to do now is turn that on low, and we want to drop our chocolate chips in there. This is what gives you the nice um, texture to it. Okay, good. So we'll keep that on low for a moment while we stir that. All right, and are you getting this um, on camera? The, um, this, this, what's happening on the stove? There so we're go. mixing those chocolate chips into the cream. And this is oh, going to be wow. your foundation for a uh, chocolate ganache truffles. These are my favorite. Wow. Now, one of the that. things you can do with this, if you like, as you get it all mixed up, so you want everything combined and mixed up. Now, this would be the time, before you put it in the fridge to set, that you want to put your flavoring in. You can put a little bit of vanilla in there. You could put a little bit of peppermint. You mean a different flavor Correct. To, to add with the chocolate. Right. So there's our, our ganache mix, and that's what we're going to be refrigerating. And through the miracle of television, <laughs> we have some that's already made. Oh, nice. Okay, great. So we'll set this aside. Wow, well, that was pretty easy getting that ganache together. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to move our toffee up here so we can kind of keep an eye on that. Okay, great. Are you getting all this in the... I'm going to show them what that looks like. Okay. Here you go. This is what this is. Uh, as it's cooking. That's how it looks. Can you see that? Beautiful. Now one of the things you want to do while your toffee uh, mix is cooking, and this helps you a lot, is dip a little brush into water and make sure that your sugar crystals are uh, pushed down there. So you don't, when you get ready to dump this into a pan, you don't want any crystals. You want it to be smooth and crisp. Okay, so there's basically none of the mixture is on the side of the pan at all. Right. It's just up until the level of the mixture. All right, that's interesting. Now, this is our uh, mixture that we just made. All right. And that's been refrigerating overnight. Okay. Um, you can leave it a couple hours. I made this overnight. So what you want to do, I use a scoop. A lot of people don't. They just use uh, te two teaspoons and mold it together. Okay. But I use a scoop. Uh -oh. this so we're going to be decorating these. We're going to be dipping some. So this is a scoop of that chocolate mixture mm -hmm. that's setting. It's called ganache. Ganache. And uh, you're using the scoop to make the truffle. The balls. The truffle balls. OK. Right. So we're going to get a couple of those done. And, and there's some interesting things you can do with this. Now, did you put a flavor in that ganache? I put a little bit of vanilla. OK. OK. Uh -huh. Sometimes I make them cherries. Sometimes I make them uh, mint. And, and how much vanilla did you put in there? I put a half a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon. So that's what you're looking for when you do mm -hmm. your And you can use any kind of flavor, whatever your family likes. So. Okay. That that scooper makes the perfect size. Yeah, it really does. I like using this. I use a large scoop and a small scoop. I want them to see the large one because this is the smaller one. And then there's the giant jumbo one. So we'll put that aside. And this is what our our little truffles look like, and these literally will melt in your mouth. Now we're going to take some toppings here. Mm, this is almonds. almonds. I love almonds. These are one of the things that are pretty popular. These are. We also use this on our coffee. Oh, 
Yeah, I would think so, for sure. And this is cocoa, plain unsweetened cocoa. So, it smells so good. You can smell the chocolate. It's hard not to. This is grab our, and see how it is. Unsweetened cocoa, uh -huh. and you'll probably want to do a couple of these, and just the plain cocoa. Oh wow! So you just drizzle drizzle that over. That's basically a flour sifter, right? Uh huh. Oh. And you can make some nice toppings with this, with a sifter, with powdered sugar, or cocoa, whatever you have. Mm. So that's kind of nice. Get those all decorated up. Very there. nice. And then at the end of the show, we're going to show you how to get these uh, looking really pretty. Wow! It's like chocolate on chocolate. Yep. Time to watch our uh, toffee here. It takes quite a while. And you're on medium heat there. Yeah. Just want to make sure that it's cooking nicely. Keep it a smooth mm -hmm. texture. Now you can take your truffles and you can roll them in nuts. This is a different topping than the the, the dark chocolate or the powdered chocolate. Correct. This is just plain. And you can use peanuts. These are chopped uh, almonds. Okay, good. I really like the crunch of the almonds. I do too. I just love almonds, no matter what. Yep. They're really healthy for you too. It's a good yep. healthy snack. And these are just toasted. They don't have any sugar or salt or anything. Did you on. toast them? I know I buy them. That you way. buy them toasted. Okay, that's that's a good hint. Yeah. I always buy them just raw, but I'll start buying them toasted. Well, one thing you can do too, depending on the cost, is any time I get nuts in bulk, we pull them out and we start toasting them so that they're already toasted. Oh, okay. So you can get them in anyway. Now I can hear this bubbling back here. It's good. Do you want just me to let stir it? Go. No? And every once in a while we can stir it, but really you want to just, just let, let it go. go. All right. And it'll get a nice amber color and then I'll, I'll show the folks how we dump it. Okay. So there you go. There's a couple of our truffles there. Stirring the mixture once again. Looks so good. So it's doing real well. Here it is. I'll show everybody so they can see it bubbling. Can you see that? Mmm, looks good. So I have some other truffles to do, and then I wanted to make some chocolate covered cherries. Oh, okay, good. Well, well this will be a good time for a break. Yes, it will. We'll come back with more truffles with Sweets for the Sweet. You're watching Community Cooking with Diane Laura from America's Pie Company. We'll be back. Don't go anywhere. If you want real value, bundle up and save with Cable One. Get the services you want at a great low price. Just $99 a month gives you whole house standard cable service, plus standard internet that's nearly 90 times faster than dial-up, and economy phone with unlimited local calling. Plus, the price is guaranteed for the next 24 months. So bundle up and save with Cable One, because this is one deal you can't afford to miss. Call now. Welcome back to Community Cooking. My name is Jean Barton. I'm here with Diane Laura from America's Pie Company. Sweets for the Sweet is the title of today's show. So Diane, what are we doing now? Uh, we're going to make something. This is uh, toasted coconut mm, truffles. My favorite. Um, Very good. Can't wait. <laughs> Diane is so busy here at America's Pie Company. She just come on by. Oh, She's no, got no, no. This is the lunch. crispy Mexican truffles. This is crispy real interesting. Crispy Mexican truffles. My favorite. Yeah. <laughs> so what we're going to be doing is, this took a little bit longer to make, so I'm going to go over the recipe with you. And what we have in here and that we've whipped together is three ounces of cream cheese. Yeah, I'll show everybody. A cup of confectioner's sugar, four ounces of melted bittersweet chocolate, okay. and that's bittersweet. Mm. One teaspoon of vanilla, and that's been sitting for a while. And now what we're going to do is make the topping, which is really interesting. Okay. So we're going to take some corn flakes. Oh, very good. Here, I'll hold that up for everybody to see. That's that a half a cup of corn flakes. Half a cup of corn flakes. And we're going to crush those with a teaspoon of cinnamon and a, a quarter teaspoon of ground cayenne. Ooh, okay. Oh, wow, so it's uh, sweet and hot. Yeah. I like wow. um, 
uh, cinnamon, and I like cayenne with chocolate. Myself. Cayenne's supposed to be really good for you. Uh, the hot is supposed to, um, you sprinkle that over some of your food, and it's supposed to boost your metabolism, actually. So there you go. So we're going to crush this together. Okay. And you're just crushing with a, a, a teaspoon, basically, or a quarter teaspoon. Mm -hmm. You can use anything. You can use your hand, you can use a cup, whatever you like. Okay, good. Can you hand me that cinnamon up there on top of that shelf? Jim? Yeah. I I use cinnamon by the pounds here. Oh wow! I didn't you sure want to put do. that My big container out sakes. here. So this is our ground cinnamon, and we're going to add that to the cayenne, and we're our, doing a teaspoon. Okay, I have a question for you. Are spices good um, even after their expiration date on the shelf? Oh sure. Oh, that's what I thought. Yeah. They're fine, but what you want to do is smell them and test them and make sure they haven't lost their potency. Okay. They really mess All right. up Because they recipe. can't spoil really though, right? No. Okay. But they can lose their their flavor. Oh, okay. All right. I thought they were good pretty much forever. So you can uh, start mashing this all together. All right. Good. And then you're going to take your mix there and we're going to make little balls and we're going to roll this in it. Smells good. This smells good. The cinnamon and the uh, that smells smell good. Now, as we're doing this, oh, I think I'm. I hope I don't sneeze. <laughs> you can see that our toffee here is still cooking away. It's, it's starting cooking. to change colors a little mm, bit. It is. Let me put that in the front of the camera so they can see. It is starting to turn that. Um, don't off, ever get that on you. Color. That is hot. That's hot stuff. Can you see that? Can everybody see that? Is that good? Just see how away. you can see the different and the texture's changing too. It's a lot thicker than it was. Mmm, that looks so good. Wow, it does smell like candy in the kitchen. Okay, so now we're gonna make our truffle balls out of this mix. Okay, now is that the same ganache basically as the other? Except this is not cooked. You and the other this. was cooked. Oh, okay, yeah. so this is not this. Ganache. Right, no, right. that's that's toffee. That's toffee. The ganache that we made in the small pan was cooked right. with was cooked. cream and Oh, that's right. We cooked chips. that already. So this one you make, and did you tell everyone how we make this? Uh-huh. I went over the recipe. Okay, and, and you just whip it and put it in the refrigerator for it to set? Right. Okay, so we don't... Is this milk chocolate? Uh, this is semi-sweet. Semi-sweet, okay. And the other was dark chocolate. Oh, no, chocolate. this is bittersweet. Bittersweet. Yeah. So many different types of chocolates. Yeah, I... Got a little bit confused because the next one we're doing is a toasted coconut and they look alike. Mm. So we're Can't making our little balls that. here. We're going to roll them in our mix over there. Yes. Okay, so now we're going to work on a toasted coconut. So we're going to be melting a little bit of white chocolate here. Mmm, that's my favorite. Yeah. Wow, so these uh, are ready to eat right now, these uh, cold ones. Oh, sure. I like to put them all in the fridge, though, and let them set. Oh, let them set. But okay. you don't have to. Okay. I mean, if, if you have a real... Uh, well, so if you're making a dozen, make yourself 13, so you've got one to try out. Right. Right. In the now, what I'm doing here is I'm melting our white chocolate chips up in the microwave. Mmm. Now, those are the white chocolate chips. This is yeah. the dark chocolate. Okay. So we're going to be making... What are we making? Ones okay, I good. think our toffee's getting pretty much Is it about to the ready? point of when we're going to be done. Not quite, but pretty close. You can see how the colors changed. I don't know if you can get that or not, but boy, oh, that here, hot. let me get out of your way and we can show it's everybody hot. that. Is it, can everybody see that? Look at that, and look how thick it is. Mmm, delish. Is that good? Okay, so then now you are heating up the white chocolate chips. Uh -huh. We're going to make these a little bit larger because I've been told they're really good. I've not tried these myself. This is new. You haven't tried them? Uh -uh. This is new. This is new? So they say, oh, make them large. They're really good. Okay, so good. We'll give that a shot. All right, good. Can everybody see these that we've got going on here? Really good. Okay, so then now you're... White chocolate chips aren't completely melted. Did you want to check the toffee again? Yeah, we're going to get ready to dump that. Okay, so she's turned the toffee off, and this is what it needs to look like when you want to turn it off. All right, can you see that? So that is what it looks like. It's been cooking for 
About how long? You ready for this? Uh -huh. It's been cooking for about, I'd say about 13, 14 minutes. 13 or 14 minutes, okay. Now we're Ooh. gonna dump it in our pan. Oh, look at that. Nice. And then we'll put a few chocolate chips on it, some nuts. Mm. Now you're not making a whole pan of it, right. you're just making like a half a pan. Yeah, it's okay. really interesting because you can control it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think it's in this for a while so you can kind of tell. Look at you that. You can kind of get it going. Ooh, get that looks good. We'll there. hold that up so everybody can see. See how that mixture looks in the pan? Now Doesn't we're going to drop about uh, half a cup of chocolate chips on there. Okay, And great because idea. of the heat of the, of the uh, mix, mm -hmm. they'll start melting nicely. Just on their own. Okay, good. And then we spread them. All right. Can everybody see that? Yeah, that's different. You're not using the white chocolate chips yet. Yeah, that's what we're going to dip our coconut in. Oh, this is for the truffles. Yeah, when this, this is coffee. Coffee's ready, you have to do it. Oh, okay. Toffee it has a yeah, You can't let tongue. it sit around because right. things happen. And okay. It's never good. All That's right, the thing ahead. about candy. You can't really walk away and let it do its own thing. You got it when it's ready to do you something. Look at that something. texture. Isn't that interesting? It almost looks like caramel right now. Mm -hmm. Wow. And this I let set up overnight. My chocolate's look nice. Look at that. Melted. Boy, that is beautiful. Now we're going to dump our toasted And that's almonds. really what Toffee's famous for, right? Almonds? Yeah, almonds. Almonds across the top. Doesn't that look good? Can everybody see that? And oh, I like I to uh, press mine down a little bit. I like okay. The, oh, good idea. Instead of them falling out in the bag somewhere. Right, right. Just have them in it. So there you have it. That's toffee. Now we're going to let this set. I'm going to show you what it looks like when we let it set. Ooh, okay, great. So I have one that I... You have one ready right now that you can uh -huh. see? I'll let that go. All right, this is one that I did product. last night. Ooh, look at that. Can you guys see that? Can anybody see that? Let me do it like that. Is that good? Doesn't that look delicious? Very nice. So we're going to get ready to put this into bags. Okay. Wow, that's just that's part. interesting. Just There's no uh, rhyme or reason. Just uh, breaking it up. Right, we break it up. And then uh, when we get ready to do our uh, bagging at the end of the show, it looks real pretty in a glassine bag. Oh, nice. Very good. <gasps> Perfect. So that's what it looks like when we're all done. Mm. Now we're going to go ahead and dip our coconut. And this little tool was made by... Uh, made by a little friend of mine that works with me. Her name was Elizabeth. And we were doing a lot of dipping and she made that little fork. By accident? Well, that makes dipping easier. Mm. So she did it back. Very good. <laughs> Excellent. Well, this is probably a good time for a break. We'll come back with more with Community Cooking with Diane Laura from America's Pie Company. Welcome back to Community Cooking. It's sweets for the sweet. So Diane, we've got the uh, semi-sweet chocolate truffles, and you've got these are this is melted uh, white, chocolate. white chocolate chips. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. Melted white chocolate chips. How long did you put that in the microwave for? Uh, it was in about 30 seconds, and I put in just a couple of drops of vegetable oil to thin it down nicely. Ooh, okay. And I will tell you, your uh, chips for some reason will dry better than your bar white chocolate. Oh, okay. I, I don't okay. know why. Okay. So this is our toasted coconut, and I took plain coconut, and I um, toasted it in the oven for a while until it turned this beautiful color. Oh, nice. And now I'm kind of crunching it up so it goes on the... Okay, so you just throw it on a tray and stick it in the oven for a little bit. Correct. Okay. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take our truffle. These are coconut truffles. Okay. And just dip it, cover it completely. Mm-hmm. Then we'll take our little dish here, make it a little bit easier. I, I thought if we had something on a pedestal, it'd be for, for you all to see it. Oh, okay, good. We have other pedestals. Maybe we want to think about that, I guess. Okay, so after we dip it in the white chocolate, mm, tap it. 
and roll it. Oh, nice. And get coconut all over it. Mm -hmm. Look at that. That is beautiful. Mm. All right, very good. Okay, I can do the rest of those if you want while you move on to our next okay. little project. What's our next project? Oh, okay, I think what we're going to do is start Decorate. getting some of these organized. I got some pretty okay. little boxes. Pretty for boxes, us here. look at that. With hearts on them. Isn't that sweet? Everybody would love to get that. So you've got the boxes, and we've got ribbon, mm -hmm. and we've got little containers. So very nice. Okay, so you're starting off. And then this, this is a cute little bag mm -hmm. that you and, have. And you can buy these things anywhere now. Um, any retail outlet has those. So I'm going to start bagging up our toffee. I think, uh, you know, during the holidays, we sell toffee by the bags in here. People just love oh, to know that. Oh, <laughs> so good. So we've got our toffee. We're putting them in a bag. We're going to seal it, and then we're going to put a ribbon on it. Oh, nice. And that alone would be a nice gift, uh -huh. just like that. You can do it that way. Very good. Look at that. So we, you can do so many different things with this project. You can make little ones. You can make big ones. Um, you know, just what your family likes. Oh, I do. We might want to move that so everybody can see what you're doing over there. Okay, so I'm putting a little ribbon here around our toffee. All right, good. Then we're going to put it in one of these boxes here. Oh, okay. And the boxes are so cute. They already come with a little bit of ribbon on top. Oh, cute. So you just put that in there. Look at that. Mm -hmm. And that'd be a nice gift for someone. Say, so here you go. Happy Valentine's Day. Isn't that cute? I love that. That, that is cute. fabulous. Now we're going to start nice. doing a little something, excuse me, okay. with our truffle. And I need more coconut. Okay. This one's a little bit messy, but it looks good. How many more am I doing? Just one, right? Yeah. Or two? What's the, is that uh, a long range? Why don't we do that with that, too? Let's That's do that. That's one of the dark okay. All right. That'll be yummy. That's the good thing about this project. You can do all sorts of things with this. All right, very good. So then now what, uh, you're decorating still? Uh -huh, I wanted to show the folks what you can do here with your little sprinkles and things. Okay, good. But if you dip something in white chocolate, you can get these little uh, decos. Ooh, nice. And deco, and these, of course, are the little hearts. Oh, cute, Those okay. Those cute. I have a little buttercream here, so I'm gonna do a couple of things. All right, good. So I got these little um, papers. And honestly, you can get those anywhere now. You can get most of this stuff now, which has really been wonderful because we used to have quite a problem getting a lot of this decorated stuff. Good. So you just have to look around town and you'll find it. Yeah, and see what your family likes. All right, I'm going to start good. putting some of these in here. This is our Mexican ones. So we're going to put those in there. Okay, good. And we're almost out of time, so we want to make sure everybody can see the final product as well. This is for our larger ones, and these also come in any kind of color. All right, good. Doesn't that look cute? Mm -hmm. Great. Boy, that really dresses them up. You put them in those little containers. Can, you, can everybody see those? Very nice. And the other thing you can do is take your little hearts here, put a dab of buttercream on, on your uh, truffle. Oh, good. And put a little heart on there with a little message. Oh, nice. Wouldn't that be cute? Mm -hmm. So we are good sort to like, go. Sort of like, will you be mine or uh -huh. uh, things like that. Very nice. Excellent. All right. Well, this is wonderful. Just in time for the... Loving holiday. Here's the final one. We'll put it in a. So you guys uh, can have a lot of fun decorating your truffles to make them your very own uh, for whoever you want to give your uh, chocolates to to make a good impression on them. This has been Community Cooking Sweets for the Sweet with Diane Laura from America's Pie Company. My name is Jean Barton. Until next time. 
Power 95.7.